Hello everyone, my name is Toma and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm starting a new series related to phone photography and there's going to be one video per week when I'm going to talk about phone photography tips, editing apps and utility apps. Today I'm going to edit a portrait of, let's say, this girl in this uh, traditional costume and I'm going to do the editing in Snapseed. Snapseed is a great app and I'm using it uh, along with other apps. But today, let's say, um, let's see how I'm going to edit this. So first of all, I'm going to tune this image and increase the ambience value. Also, I'm going to add some more details in the shadows and let's, uh, let's add some more details also on the highlights. In the, the upper right corner, there's an icon. And if you click on it, you'll see the before and after um, on, and this is not the before and after on, on the overall uh, pro editing process, but only the process uh, in that panel. In, uh, in the general panel, if you press on the photo, you see the before and after, but with all the, with all the editing done on the image. Now let's move on to the brush tool. Brush tool, tool is similar to the brush tool in Lightroom, let's say. As you can see, you see, the, you see the size of the brush. I have to zoom in into the photo to have much more control. Once you're zoomed in, you can only control the panning by that um, icon in the left. Uh, right now, I'm increasing the natural light that's coming through the window. This photo was made uh, with only natural light from the window and right now I'm enhancing that and uh, drawing the eye to the face of, um, of the girl by increasing the, the, the exposure. One thing that I don't like about Snapseed is this thing that Snapseed has its own increments and uh, that is why I think in the next uh, in the next updates from Snapseed, uh, they should give us the ability to set our own uh, values. Um, after I'm using the exposure brush, I'm um, switching to t the temperature brush. If you have a temperature of 10, for example, you have a warm temperature. If you have minus 10 uh, or negative values, then you have cooler temperature. Um, as I said before, you can only have minus 10, minus 5, 0, 5 and 10. You, you don't uh, get to set your own value. And this sometimes it's not that uh, useful. It's not the exact, re the exact result that you're after. But uh, since it's phone photography, I think you'll have to... Uh, uh, you'll have to receive it as it is. I'm making the temperature uh, around the, uh, the window much cooler. Okay. And right now I'm going to add some vignette to the, to the photo. It's not something that you can do with every image, but since we have the right corner uh, darker and the left corner lighter, I think that with vignetting will, uh, will increase that, that feeling, that sensation. Now let's get back to the brush tool and I'm going to uh, use the saturation brush just because I really like the, the details on the dress. Again, I'm zooming in. To zoom in, you're basically using two, th two fingers just like on any uh, smartphone. When using the saturation brush, I'm usually staying away from the skin because uh, it, it, it creates a color on, on the skin that I don't like. As you can see here, it, it's much too, too orange to, uh, for, my, uh, for my taste at uh, least. So uh, I think that I'm going to go back and erase the saturation on the skin. It's really easy to get lost when you're dealing with uh, people's skin. So let's see. Okay, now I think I'm going to tune the image some more. These settings uh, refer to the overall image. So I'm going to increase the brightness and the contrast. 
and then the overall saturation. Okay, now Snapseed has uh, the ability to apply also creative filters, but uh, at, this, at this point I'm only going to use this kind of classical editing. Again, I'm using the exposure to uh, enhance some more that light that come the light that comes through the window and again I I, uh, I wish that they will give me the ability to uh, set my own values and as I said before there are some creative filters that I'm not going to use for this kind of image you can experiment with um, all these creative filters and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do tutorials with that uh, but not today so if you press on the image you'll see, see uh, the before and after and I think the, the results are, uh, are pretty good so until next time thanks for watching if you have questions use the comment section below and until next time keep on photographing and keep on editing it's the only way that you can get better Thanks for watching and bye bye.